All right, traders, it's time to get tactical. We're going to break down how to avoid those fakeouts that'll bleed your account dry, using none other than Scalp Mo, our weapon for catching those quick high-probability price bursts. Today's session, a bit slow, low volume, no news, but the perfect example of when and where to strike or sit on your hands. Let's jump to 9.32 a.m. The purple line, our acceleration signal dipped below the lower threshold, and so did the wave line. Then the purple line popped back up. Boom! That's where you strike. I've marked this sweet spot on the chart in a green box. Why? Because it wasn't just scalp Mo telling us to get in, Swimo's cycle line also dropped below that key point eight zero mark and started to rise. That's your go long signal. When these two indicators align, it's like the stars are saying, go get your money. What made this trade even sweeter? Both the purple and wave lines dipped below the threshold together. That's a prime setup. Now here's the part you need to tattoo on your brain. If the purple line rockets past 0.90 too fast, while the blue wave line is chilling below zero, hit pause. This is not the time to chase. It's a classic setup for a price reversal. We saw this exact scenario three times today, and I've marked them on the chart with ellipses. If you fell for these, you're probably wishing you hadn't. But there's more. Another sneaky move is when the blue wave line is hanging around zero and the purple line bounces up and down like it can't make up its mind. This, my friends, is a total no-trade zone. I've slapped some yellow boxes on the chart so you can see what I'm talking about. These are weak setups just waiting to drain your account. If the purple line isn't leading, don't take the trade. I've got two examples where the purple line is leading marked by red arrows pointing down, and one example at 932, marked with a green arrow, where the purple line is leading. Remember, the purple line must always lead. Now, the golden rule. If the purple line rockets up past the 0 .90 threshold but the blue wave line hasn't caught up and is still sitting below zero, don't take the bait. And if the purple line is just dancing around the zero mark without crossing that blue wave line, it's another low probability setup. Walk away. Pay extra attention when the purple line crosses back over the blue wave line after hitting those extremes. That's the moment the market is likely to flip direction. And this is where you need to be ready to act. This is where the money's made. Now, if you're working with pure mo on the four minute chart or scalp mo on the 10,000 tick chart, Here's the kicker. Make sure both charts are telling you the same story. The best trades come when the signals align across both time frames. In trending markets, pure mo is your best friend, but in a choppy, tight market like today, scalp mo is your go-to. Today's session is the perfect reminder. Not every setup is a good one. Knowing when to get in and when to stay out is what separates the winners from the wish I hadn't traded that crowd. I hope this breakdown helps you see the difference, so you're ready to nail the next session with confidence. Now go out there and crush it.